Welcome back to Houston. It is time for a free agency, and we have a big one ahead of us. We had a pretty convincing comment section in terms of trying to get Connor Hellebuck, and he has three other teams interested. We're going to have to overpay him quite significantly, I imagine, and I really don't know how much is going to be enough. I hope. I don't want to... Yeah, let's try $9 million. Let's see. He's considering his other options. Okay. And then I care about Hellebuck more than Hannafin. So we have one contract offered. We have $20 million of cap space, so we definitely have the room. And I think Palmieri is running up this year, and he's sort of just a luxury right now, so we could get rid of him. I don't know what to offer Hannafin, though. Like, you're going to have to offer these guys more than what they want, especially because I, I don't think that we're, like, considered a team that is, you know, ready to win, per se, or whatever the common complaint is. Like, I, I just don't feel that this is the right fit because I want to win now. Anyway, let's advance a day. Okay, a trade for Zach Sanford. No, thank you. Advance a day. Okay, we got the AHL head coach that I tried to get, so that's nice. Uh, some scouts coming in. Some A and A- minus scouts. Love to see that. Advance a day. Oh my goodness, stop. This is scaring me. So many pop-ups. I just want to see... Oh, another scout. Okay, it's got to be soon. Another scout. All right, here we go. Here we go. Advance a day. Yes! All right. We got Connor Hellebuck and we got Noah Hannafin. That is huge. That's huge. If I overpaid them, so be it. Don't care. Had to be done. Wow. All right. That is huge. Our team is absolutely filthy. So let's go to the contracts. I just want to show you guys here that we do have a few. Why are you still doing this? I've played this before. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Olafson's running up this year. And, you know, it, it is what it is. If we bring him back, cool. If we don't, cool. I'm not too keen on keeping him. So that is a contract that could be freed up. Palmieri, he's good and all. He has had a pretty integral part of this franchise, to be honest. But yeah, I'm willing to let him walk. He has $5 million right now, so that's going to free up a lot of cap. He wants 6.6, .6, which would take him till he's like 37. So no, I'm good on that. Uh, Kavanov, we still got the three years left on that, what is that called? Entry-level contract, Hegg. We could probably bring him back. Sanford, I'm okay to let walk. Robert Thomas is down to 81, man. Wow, we really killed him. Oof. Well, we could try to revive him. You know, bring out those, uh, what are those things called? The little electric pads. No idea. Why can't I think of what they're called? This is going to bug me. It's like right on the tip of my tongue, and I just can't think of it. Hold on. I need to, I need to Google this. A defibrillator. Defibrillator. Whatever it is. Okay. That, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. It clicked as soon as I saw it. But anyway, we're going to need to do that for Robert Thomas. So these two guys, we might let them walk, which would free up like $11 million a cap, which is very solid. But we would have to probably replace them. If we go to our defensemen now, we have Hannafin and Sergachev. Hopefully they get along. He is a two-way, and he is also a two-way, so the chemistry is not going to be absolutely insane there or anything. Uh, Ethan Bear, we're going to be trying to get rid of, which will free up some more cap. And I'm not even really going to try to replace him with a defenseman or a forward or anything. I'm just going to try to get a pick, if I'm going to be honest here, because I think that is the best way to go right now. We have our team, in my opinion. You know, I'm Herb Brooks right now in the movie Miracle. I have my team. <laughs> this is it. So, I believe in the boys. Do the boys believe in me? Let's find out. If, I honestly forgot we even had JT Miller. Him and Hannafin are making the exact same amount. Okay. So, what to do, what to do. I guess we could try to find a trade now. We don't have to really go to next year. Let's find trade. And we are trying to get rid of uh, defenseman Ethan Bear. Where are you? There you are. Ethan Bear. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to sign Teal, too. Did I end up signing him? I think I did, right? He is listed as AHL, so I think I did. Yeah, we got him. All right, cool. Teal. Let's go. High Elite. Love to see it. Uh, and honestly, I think I'm going to get rid of Jari because he has a contract that is pretty good. You know, 775 for two years. But Di Pietro's 84 overall. He's still only 25. And he has five years at 1.5. I think I want to keep DiPietro for now. Because his trade value is high. He probably has to do with his overall in the contract. Scott is still hard stuck at 77. So I'm probably going to try to get rid of him. And let Teal take over 
as the starter in the AHL. But yeah, I think I'm going to pull the, the plug on Jari for now. So if we go back to our skaters here, actually, no, defenseman. I did select him, right? Ethan Bear? Yeah, let's try to find a trade. A second and a third. Hmm. No. A second, third, and two Leo. Low top six. No. Is that all the trades? Okay, we got two more. A second and third. Second, fourth, and a low top nine. And a second and a third. Hmm. Can't get a first, eh? Very interesting. Very interesting. Maybe we could try to find a first from someone and, and make it work by moving up a pick, you know? Because that will only get us so much. Like, if I go to our draft picks and I put our... We don't even have a first this year. If I put our third in there, can we get a first? Uh, wait. Wrong thing. I want to select the third. Okay. Let's see. So, we get a second, a third, and two... Really? It doesn't add anything, and that is the only trade. No. I'm out. Let me go try to find one by myself, and then... Yeah, I'll, just give me a second, guys. So it turns out nobody wants to give up their first overall pick right now. So I'm going to sim to next year, and we're going to go for... Oh, my word. Stop it. We're going to go from there. That's what I'll do. I'll sim till next year, and then we'll see if the trading block has changed for anyone at all. And let's go to... Wait, what? You guys literally just watched me change that, no? There we go. Did I do it too quick for the game to register? Aha! Worked that time. And boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way oh. Let's back out and continue simulating to the next year. We got 67 points from Reinhardt that year. That's pretty good, but Barzal, man, he lit it up for us. He wasn't doing so good with the Islanders, but then he came to Houston, and he was absolutely lighting the lamp. So hopefully he does that again this year for the whole season. But yeah, we're going to try to get rid of Bear. We're going to try to get rid of Jari, and we are going to try to get rid of... Ooh, no. I'm going to try to get rid of... There was one other person that I can't think of right now, but when I look at our roster, I'll see them. So, yeah, this is going to be a good year, hopefully. Continue and continue. All right, scouting assignments. Awesome. Yeah, here we are. How much money do I have for a coach? I probably have, like, nothing, right? I have nothing, literally. We are completely done. We have an AHL associate coach right there. Attaboy. And then here's our NHL. Whatever. I'm not too worried about it right now. We have 16 scouts. I see two OHL, two Russia, one DEL, NHL, NHL, two USs, uh, two WHLs, two Liga, and a QMJHL. All right. So I don't see... Wait, where... Do, I thought we had Nordic as well. Do we not? I guess they're gone. And we don't have any money. Nice. We have no money to sign other scouts. Well then. Whatever. I'll leave it as is for now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a very high draft pick this year anyway. That's the goal. So, I'm I'm planning ahead for that. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any first pick still here. Because usually you have to be a little bit into the season. So, we could try to get a second and a third. Or we could try to get, like, a young player that we could attempt to grow. Um, let's go to skaters matching the block. And just kind of check all the teams here let me let me just do some scouting and then actually i won't do it from here though i'll do it from the browse trading block that's easier and then yeah we'll see if anyone's worth picking up like another suzuki or something like that so this guy's a medium top six left wing sniper he could play in the ahl this year and he has an ability they also have some other young players on the block so let's see who they want from us if i go to defenseman do they want ethan bear they actually do all right very nice that Will not go through due to cap. I see. Do you have anyone that we could bring back that's making way too much for only one year? That we essentially will not resign? All right. Please tell me one year left. Three! Oh! All right. So, no. That's not going to happen. Anyone else here? Uh-oh. The trade value is going to start going up soon. Oh, there we go. And one year left. 81 overall defenseman as well. But you know what? That's still not going to work. Oh, boy. Okay, we might have to try a different team then. I didn't realize they were that low. They're already... Wow. Okay, yeah. We need to find a different team. I mean, we can try this, but it's probably not going to go through. This musty guy created a pretty cool Rocket League shot, but no. On a real note, six foot five, and he is 
you know, 72 overall already. Not bad. Only 19. And then Dzingel is a one-year cap dump to basically allow this trade to go through. I don't think this will go through as is, but we can try it. Okay. Never mind. Thank you for that, I suppose. Um, let's just do best rosters for now. And we still have some more trades to make. So, let's go to our goalies. We're getting rid of Jari. Let's try to find any team that wants Jari. Okay. The Winnipeg Jets. Dustin Wolf. Low starter. No, we don't need more goalies. So, let's go to draft picks. They don't want their second, but there's no chance we're getting that. But, we might be able to move up for a third. So, a third and Jari for a second. Let me try a fourth and Jari. I don't think that'll work, but it's worth a shot. Fourth and Jari. Trade rejected isn't sufficient at all. A third and Jari. And trade rejected. Okay. Yeah, their second has a lot more value to it. Hmm. Not gonna, not gonna bother with the Jets for now then. Or I'll trade him maybe just for a third or something, if that's the only team that wants him. Okay, you guys have anyone on the block? Skaters matching the block that we would want? Not exactly. <laughs> All right, draft picks. Let's keep moving on here. Any other teams? The Dallas Stars? Uh, hmm. Maybe I should just do that. Ah, they do have some players, though, that we want, I think. So if we go to skaters matching the block... Yeah, this guy's high top nine. 80 overall. Oh, they can't even sign him. Yoikes. Okay, we probably won't really be able to sign him either then. Uh, who should we get? Some low top six forwards is actually not bad to have. Like, Stranges might be pretty decent to have on the roster. He might grow. Especially if we play him in the AHL and he gets minutes. Maybe. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Let's see, if it goes through one for one, I'm willing to do that. Actually, let's try to toss in like a late draft pick just because. Like a, a fifth. Why not? Could use that as other trading bait. That probably... Oh, okay. That did go through. So we got rid of Jari. Assistant, best roster. And what else do we want to do? I believe there's someone else we wanted to get rid of. Let me see here. GM notes. Okay, well, trade Bear. Trade Jari. Get Bucky, get Hannafin. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that was it. And, oh my goodness, the Benajad up at 80 overall. What an absolute mad lad. Depth forward. Medium elite. This guy's sick. They have him in the AHL right now, but I kind of want to bring him up, to be honest. He is a two-way forward, so, yeah. Maybe we'll bring him up to the NHL. He's 80 overall already, so that's definitely possible. And... I was supposed to hire a goalie coach, but I physically cannot. We don't have money. Is there a way to request more money for staff? Or am I just stuck within that budget? Or can I sign people anyway? No, I don't think I can. I don't know. You guys can let me know. Okay, well, I'm going to edit the lines here now once and for all. And let's see what we have. Robert Thomas is up to 83. Boss at 85. Palmieri on the first line is not going to fly. No, that's going to be like that. Yes, sir. Okay, I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Robert Thomas. I really want him to be up. So I'm going to put Palmieri here because we're basically letting him walk after this year. So he can be depth. Um, and Zach Sanford really fits the team, their scheme fit there, which is good. Boss does not. Wow. Does Palmieri? Not really. Like, not super good. Okay. So we're going to put Boss here with Barzell and Miller. Olison, Reinhardt, Thomas, Palmieri... McLeod. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's leave that. McLeod's probably a... Oh, he's third line. Okay. Nice. And then on defense, I want Kavanov to get as many minutes as possible. It's, he's listed as a top four. And so is Bouchard. Sergachev is top four. Hannafin's top four. And then we got Hag and Addison. What to do? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to leave him there for now. Let's Oh, but that's a plus 1. Maybe I should do this cuz I feel like getting that plus 1 with those two guys is absolutely stellar. And he is listed as top 4, so I'm playing him right where he should be right now. So I'm going to leave that, sure. And in net, we have Hellebuck and Di Pietro. Good stuff. Let's go to the AHL real quick. Oh my word. A plus 2 for this absolutely Disgusting line. Zabenichad, Suzuki, and Lysel. 
We have, like, we almost have too many good players, you know? Like, there's not a lot I can do. I just, I, I don't know where to play these guys. Zibanejad can play in the NHL, but, like, who would I send down? I guess I could send, like, Malgit down. But let, let's see how he's going. Yeah, he's only 19, so maybe it's probably better for him to play in the AHL. He's still listed as a depth forward, so I think that he'll survive in the AHL. Especially with these guys lighting it up with that plus two. Yeah, that's going to be unreal. Uh, not good on that first pair. So let's change something up there. Okay, at least these guys get a plus one. And I don't think there's anyone else we really have to focus on a lot here. Let me go to scratch real quick. Just to see. Uh, just to see. <laughs> Can't talk. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, he's a goalie. Oh, yeah. This is the medium backup that I signed, right? So there was another guy I wanted to trade. And it is Ian Scott. Because... He is blocking the ice time for Teal. So, I'm going to go to find a trade. Where is it? There it is. Breezed past it. Let's go to goaltenders. And let's throw in Scott. Yeah. Anyone? Nothing. Awesome. Nobody wants him. So, I'm probably just going to have to essentially drop him off for like a seventh pick or something. Because he is... Not desired by anybody. Wow. I might not even be able to get rid of him. There's literally nobody that wants him. Let's try Chicago. Draft picks. They want to give up their draft picks. Uh, just a Hail Mary for a fifth. I doubt it's going to go through. Nope. Not sufficient whatsoever. A sixth. Doubt it's going to go through. Nope. Can I not even trade him for a seventh? Wow. Oh, okay, there we go. And it was only a barely, eh? Wow. Oh, that's bad. Okay, go to roster moves. And let's go to edit the AHL lines. I didn't actually change anything here, so I'm just going to do best lines again. Wilson. Oh, never mind. It's not who I thought it was. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, this AHL team looks absolutely disgusting. They're going to tear it up. And we have some good players down here to grow as well. I want to play this guy up there because he is still only 26. So can I actually do this instead? Oh, but then that loses. Yeah, because that way Lejoie is still up here. I'm down with that. Okay, cool. And if we go to the goalies now, we have Teal with Filion. I think that's how it's said. Starting line. So maybe we should go to the trade deadline and just see how that is doing. Because I want to see how this team's performing. So, yeah. Let's go up to the deadline. And see who's on the block. And if we even need to make trades. And if not, then maybe I'll just sim right through. But let's get started. So far, so good. 3-1-0. Oh. oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Stop! I don't want to make trades right now. I want to keep our team exactly how it is. Carolina, that's a huge win. Oh, boys. We are sick. We are sick! Let's go! Alright. You know what? Get out of here. They, they want Teal? As if? Why is Teal on the block? Who put Teal on the block? Whoever made that decision, fire them instantly. No, fire them yesterday. That is silly. You do not deserve a job for putting Teal on the block. That is a high elite goaltender in the AHL right now who is going to probably make us trade DiPietro and possibly even replace Hellebuck, but we'll see. Okay, it's a bit weaker draft than normal, which is good because we're not going to have a first pick. We have a second rounder, but that's about it. We are definitely... I know it's very early in the season. We are definitely on pace for the playoffs already. The team is doing well. Any... Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever. Don't care. Arizona Coyotes, that's an L. Tampa Bay, big W. Yes, sir. Try to... Oh, no. Don't string together some Ls. String together some Ws. There's an L. All right, back and forth right now. Another big win. Another big win. There's an L to the Bruins. And to Chicago, but bounce back with a shutout against the Sabres. I'll take overtime points all day. All day. The Rangers, another win. That's huge. Four wins in a row. Sabres fired their head coach. Poor guy. Now we get destroyed by Carolina, but shut out the Flames. An overtime loss. Again, that's a point. Oh, man. Don't you dare go on a losing streak. How dare you? There's a big win. Two in a row, as a matter of fact. Can we make it three? No, we cannot. But we do beat the Jets immediately after that. Yeah, I don't think I want to make any moves. I think I just want our team to go. Just send it. 
we're doing well, and I don't see a reason to impede on this season. I do want to go look at the stats, though, real quick, just to see how everyone's doing. And the growth reports, see if some players have bounced up even more. So let's stop it. Actually, let's keep the current trading block, but let's view the deadline anyway. I don't plan on making any moves. I just want to see who's available. Roman Yossi. Wow. Down to 86. How old is he? Is there, there should be an age there somewhere, no? Am I missing it? He is 34. Okay. OEL on the block. Yeah. Not too much here that I'd really want to go. For. Wow. Sydney the Kidney at 85. That's mental. All right. Well, I'm out of here. No, thank you. But I do want to go view our stats and see how the AHL team is doing as well. They should be tearing it up. But who really knows? Maybe they're getting destroyed. Stop the simulation and let's check it out. AHL team, how you doing? Oh my word, they're so good. Suzuki's almost point a game. And we have Barzell with a nice amount of points. 65 games played. Let's go, kid. Wow, boys. We did it. We did it. We have a good team. Let's view the stats, though, and just see how everybody's doing. And I also want to view the growth reports as well. JT Miller, 59 points. Reinhardt with 58. Olafson, 54. Robert Thomas, he's at 84 again. Awesome. Boss with 47. Up to 86. Let's go. Palmieri still at 85. He has 37 points. McLeod with 24. He's 83. Hannafin with 22. That's rough. And Kavanov with 22. Still at 84. Sergachev at 86. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Max Jones a dash two. How dare you. Let's check out the goalies. In net, we have a 917 with seven shutouts. And a 238 for Connor Hellebuck. And Di Pietro is doing all right as well. He's still 84. 7-4-0 with a shutout and a 904 save percentage. Very solid. Very solid. Let's check out the AHL quick. Teal with a 916, 34, 11, and 0, and three shutouts. And this guy's doing good as well. Well, not really. 887, but yeah, five shutouts. Pretty solid. Okay, Teal. He's already at 78 overall. And this guy's up to 70. That is huge. That is huge. Back to the NHL. No, actually, you know what? No, let's check out the, the players in the AHL first. All skaters. Suzuki with 61. He's at 80. Yes. Zabinijad's at 82. Oh, my word. Wow. And then Lysel's at 78. Hosang. Who was the player, actually? We just traded for a guy, and I can't remember what his name was. He's probably scratching the NHL, and I haven't played him all year. Just completely forgot about him because I'm too gassed about how sick our team is. Okay, well, let's go to roster moves. And see if I can send that lad down. Because we just picked up another medium top six, right? Roster moves. And let's go to... Actually, let's just scroll down to the very bottom. Maybe they brought them in the... Yeah. It was... Oh, it was Stranges. was one of them. Wasn't there someone else, though? He doesn't have to go through waivers. So let's send him down. And I think that's it. I... Well, actually, Frederick as well. I'm pretty sure. He would have to go through waivers, though. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm pretty sure he's just not doing anything. Zingle. You know what? Let's send a Zingle down too. He has to go through waivers, but he's not playing on our team. And if he gets claimed, then so be it. Confirm. He probably didn't get claimed. Yeah. Didn't think so. Okay. Well. Let's go to edit lines. And the NHL should still be all good. Yeah, there we go. Boss at 86. Love to see that. And then JT Miller there as well. Okay, well, let's go to the AHL real quick. Look at these guys go. Absolute stud muffins. Hosang's actually had an 81, too. We have quite the team. The f absolute dynasty right now. Okay, well, not a dynasty because we haven't even won one cup yet. But you know what I mean. We're doing sick. Okay, so this guy, you're coming out. And I'm going to go to centers and toss Strongest in there. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe... You know what, actually, let's do best lines and hope that Stranges is a part of that. Where is he? Did they really not put him in? I don't think they did. They put Dezingle in. All right. Oh, I'm not letting him be a scratch. So, centers, Stranges, boom. There you go. And I will leave him somewhere. He fits there, but I don't want to interrupt Hosang. He's having a good year. Uh, let's put him on the third line left wing, I suppose. Sure, why not? Okay, cool. First line is absolutely insane. I make that move to get 0 1 0. And in net, we have Teal and Filion. Let's continue the season 
and basically see who our first round opponent is. There's no way we don't make it. Absolutely not. Kavanov having himself a good year as well. Hellebuck, absolutely insane in net. Okay, let us do it. Let's continue and simulate the rest of the year. Yeah, that is absolutely massive. I'm so used to going way beyond the season because of career sims and whatnot. But this time I only want to go till the end of the season. All right. A couple more big wins there. Nice. Big win over the Hurricanes. Taken out of the Pens, but a shootout win. Bounce back against the Flames there. Nice job. 44 wins on the year so far. Third in the division currently. Two weeks left and two more big wins there. Nice shutout against the Jets. Hopefully that was hella bucket net. And another shutout against the San Jose Sharks. Sim another day. Sim another day. And we get the Edmonton Oilers. All right. All right. The AHL season has come to an end as well. Let's have a quick look at the stats. I don't know if I want to view like the... Oh, they had 54 wins on the year. That's terrifying. I don't know if I want to view like the whole league stats right now. Maybe very briefly. We'll just go to it. 90 points from Barzal at 92 overall. JT Miller with 75 up to 88. Reinhardt's at 87. Olofsson stayed at 85. Boss is in 87 as well. Robert Thomas still in 84. Palmieri is still at 85. All right. Oh my goodness. Even McLeod's up to 84. Man, our team is just unbelievable. I think we have a genuine shot at winning the cup this year. I really do. Okay. Let's check out the goalies quick. Let's go to the goaltenders. Hellebuck, 917. DiPietro, a 913. Very solid from these two. Love to see it. That's great. Nine shutouts. Holy smokes. Okay, let us go back to here and check out the entire league. Super fast. Entire league. There you go. Patrick Kane with 118. He wins himself the Art Ross. All right, there's the first page for the season. And if we go to goalies, we got Robin Leonard. Absolutely killed it this year. Hellebuck is up there as well. Nice to see. Okay. So, I guess we should probably check out the AHL quick. Let's just go to our team again. I don't know if it works that way, but hopefully. AHL and Burnaby Aces. Benajad, 74 points, 82 overall. Suzuki, 81 overall with 74 points. Hagel, still at 80. Lysel, 78. Hosang, an 81. I think we could even win the Calder this year as well. That's huge. Goaltenders, Teal put up a 918 and a 193. Wow, 41, 13, and 1. Still 78 overall. Very nice, very nice indeed. Actually, I want to check something though. I didn't really see... I saw that Boss put up a decent amount of points. 37 goals. He's putting them in the net. Great stuff, great stuff. Wow. Okay, guys. Well... There you have it. We are here in the playoffs. Our team is absolutely nasty. Yeah, that's a, that's a good season right there. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video where we take on the Edmonton Oilers in round number one.